اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to look into how to use process in smart PLS for serial mediation. Let's assume we've got this model with two mediators. In the process macro, it's the model 6. Now serial mediation hypothesizes a causal chain linking the variables or the mediators. Now in this example I've got one predictor, one outcome and two mediators M1 and M2. Now these variables are continuous indirect effect of x on y through m only is a i b i now indirect effect of x on y to both the mediators would be a1 b21 and b2 so if we look here a1 this is your a1 b 21 so from m1 to m2 is d21 and then m22 y is your b2 so if you multiply a1 with d21 and b2 you will get your indirect effect of x on y through mediator 1 and mediator 2 whereas your direct effect x on y is c complement the total effect will be the sum of direct and indirect effect Now the example that I've taken for this study is culture, performance, and the two mediators are commitment and assurance. Indirect effect of culture on performance through commitment only is A1 here and B1. Indirect effect of culture on performance through assurance only is A2, B2. Indirect effect of culture on performance, that is culture on performance, through commitment and assurance that is both the mediators is a1 multiplied by d multiplied by b2 now here is the sample output or how to report mediation or serial mediation but before that we are going to run our model so i've got a project here in smart pls and i'm going to create a process model and i'm going to call it let's say sm and my model is culture commitment assurance and performance here is culture so commitment and performance now let's link them Let's compare it with the original proposed model. Yes, commitment to assurance. Looks all right. And what we are going to do is let's save it. Calculate bootstrapping. Normally, ten thousand is now recommended, but we are going to keep it for or to five thousand for now. Y is corrected. One tailed, and start. if you look here your path coefficients the direct relationships so each variable linked with the other variable and whether it is significant or not and i'm interested in 
serial mediation. Now, here are all the possible mediation results, but I'm interested in this one here. The impact of CC on OP through both the mediators. It is, is it significant? Yes, it is significant. The team statistics is greater than 1.645 because I chose one tailed test. The indirect effect is 0 0.070. This means that OC and ASR serially mediate the relationship between CC and OP. Is it complete mediation or partial mediation? So the impact of CC on OP, was it significant? Yes, it is significant. So both direct and indirect effects are significant. This means it is partial mediation. How do you report it? So if you look here, commitment and assurance serially mediate the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. The study assessed serial mediation with commitment and assurance serially mediating the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. The results revealed a significant indirect effect of collaborative culture on organizational performance through both the mediators, the beta value, the t-statistics, hence supporting H1. Furthermore, the direct effect of collaborative culture on organizational performance in the presence of the mediators was found significant. Hence, there is a partial serial mediation of commitment and assurance in the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. And the mediation summary results are presented here. This is how you can present your mediation analysis results. I hope this short session would have helped you understand how to run serial mediation using process and how to report the results. Thank you very much.